Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Secure Code Review series for beginners. In this episode, we'll be diving deep into XML external entity vulnerabilities, commonly known as XXE. As usual, we'll look at the source code and perform a secure code review, find the vulnerability, and then go to the browser, try to exploit the vulnerability. And at the end, most importantly, we look at how to fix these kind of vulnerabilities in Python. So let's get started. So I have in front of me a Python web application using Flask. Inside the code, we are using the LXML library to parse XML data. The important function over here is the parse underscore XML function, which is routed to the slash parse endpoint, which makes a post request. This is the area where the XML data will be processed. On line nine, we read the XML data, which is received uh, from the post request. And from line 11, we've basically written the logic to parse XML data which we received uh, in the post request. If you focus on line 13, the key issue in the e3.xml parser is the resolve underscore entities function which we've set to true, which will allow the parser to process external entities, which makes it vulnerable to XXE attacks. After that, we are basically converting the XML data to a string and returning the string output. Now let's try to run this web application and try to exploit it. So we type python3 and xxe.py we go to our browser and go to the slash parse endpoint and hit enter. You will immediately notice that we get a method not allowed error. That's because we had set a post request to the parse endpoint. So what we'll do is we'll go to our burp suite and intercept this request from the browser. Once we have it, we will send it to repeater. Now what we'll do is we will ch change this get request to a post and send the request. We get an XML error saying the document is empty. That's good news for us because now if we are an attacker, we know that uh, there is XML data which is being passed at the backend. Now I'll use a very simple XXE payload to read the content of etc password file. So we make the first standard XML declaration. After that, we define a doc type which reads an external entity XXE, which basically reads the contents of the etc password file. Finally, we will use the XXE entity over here in the XML content. Now what we'll do is we will send this request. We see that this payload has worked and we have retrieved the contents of the slash etc password file. After we executed this payload, it resulted in the server reading and printing the contents of the etc password file in the response, which is a very critical vulnerability. Now we'll go back to the source code. Now if you're doing a secure code review assessment for a code base and if Python language is used, what we need to keep in mind while searching for XXE vulnerabilities, you need to look at instances where XML data is being parsed. Pay close attention to modules which are being used. So over here we've used LXML module. There could also be the xml.e3.element or any kind of third-party XML parsers which are used in the code. After we've identified this, we also need to look at the code and dive deep to understand if uh, external entities are being specifically allowed or if they are not specifically allowed, are they uh, by default enabled? So in our case on line 13, we've set the value of resolve entities to true in the e3.xml parser function. You need to properly examine if the configuration allows ex external entities from being resolved. Look for any kind of sources where XML data is being fetched from. Like us, if it is using user supplied input without any validation, it is a complete red flag. You could also use tools like Burp Suite to manually use XML payloads to see the existence of XXE. Now, since we have an idea of how to find XXE vulnerabilities in source code, let's look at how to fix XXE vulnerabilities. Now to fix the issue, we could have set the value of resolve entities to false and block the XML parser from uh, processing any kind of external entities. Now to fix this issue, I've used another module called the diffuse XML library to securely pass XML data. Now by default, diffuse XML does not resolve external entities and it securely passes XML data. So what we'll do is we will go to our terminal and run the XXE fix file. Now we go to burp suite and try to send the same request with the same payload and see if we get a response. We notice that diffuse XML does not give us back the content of etc password file. It says it was forbidden because it was an external entity. To summarize, we simply use the diffuse XML library in this piece of code, which securely passes XML data and prevents any kind of XXE attacks by disabling external entity resolution. Now to go over everything, we saw a vulnerable Python code, which introduces the XXE vulnerability. We exploited the vulnerability and then we saw how to identify XXE vulnerabilities in source code. We saw different techniques and methodologies we could use to identify this problem. And towards the end, we saw how to fix this vulnerability by using a secure XML parser. As usual, if you like the video, make sure you drop a like and hit the subscribe button. Also, do not forget to hit the bell icon uh, so that you do not miss the next episode, which hopefully comes out next Saturday. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.